Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here. Um, finally got a Wii U, so I'm about to play Bayonetta 1. Um, the plan is to basically go through this as fast as I possibly can because I've beaten Bayonetta. Um, I can't tell you how many times. I think I've beaten that game maybe five or six times. So the plan is to go through Bayonetta shoot through it as fast as I possibly can. I'm still going to do like a full um, let's play of it like I normally would any other game. And um, I'll make sure not to speak. You have broken the ancient commandments mm. and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts See, the awesome thing about this though is that this is 60 frames per second, 1080p for Bayonetta, which is really awesome. And um, the port is actually from. Whoops, what just happened? I think my laptop's in the way. <laughs> Although I wouldn't expect My hand's like totally in the way nothing happens, but I don't know. Check a load game. Oh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I should do easy because then I'd really fly through it, but eh, no point. So I like I said, I've beaten this game a ton of different times. It'll be interesting to play it um on the gamepad. That'll be really interesting because the controls I mean obviously it's it's super wide, it's a giant wide controller. But I'm excited to play. Yeah, see that? Uh, that's weird. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. When I try to do it, like when I try to block it, nothing happens. Yeah, you can tell it looks different. From the records of time, I want to watch there it once existed but... two European clans who just, served as really, the way to of history for the powers that be. The Umbra Witches, dwellers of the darkness, and the Lumen Sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect, and their efforts to maintain the balance between them defended the just passage of time. Yet one day, that balance was toppled. Nah, of course I don't have that power yet. I don't know what I'm thinking. This is going to be weird playing through this game with none of the powers. Like, going through this and I'm going to have like zero weapons. Once harmonious clans fell into disagreement and stoke the flames of hatred against each other, get some bullet time. resulting in an era of strife. The conflict between the Umbra and the Lumen threw all of Europe into a chaotic loop of battle, ambush, assassination, and casualty. It was truly a gruesome war. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive dark witches. Years after the balance was lost, the war had ended in the Umbra witches' favor. Jean? Oh, there she is. That's Jean. It's so weird playing it on this gamepad, like I'm so used to, you know, you beat a game like seven times in a row, 
on one uh, console, it makes it really weird to play through, um, you know, like your eighth or ninth time on a totally different console. Fearing the witch's dark abilities, humans began to condemn the name of God. They launched the witch hunts, rounding up the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who wished to continue the struggle. Human faith in the miracles of their god pushed the witch hunts further, and soon the Umber witches, keepers of the darkness, were extinguished from the earth. All I just love this story. Also, don't have witch time. I, I realize that because like that dodge should put it into slow motion. Obviously, this is what we haven't played the game. the frame rate is on the pad i don't remember it's not exactly you know like the 1080p uh 60 frames per second or anything and you can definitely tell that like if you look at the screen and you look at the pad it's very very different so it's and it's kind of funny looking at it that way buffalo of blood i probably shouldn't do that because You'll see how off my timing is. <laughs> you'll, you'll see how I'm like, my little milliseconds off. And I can be honest, I'm off sometimes. I don't remember this. This is new. This was not in the first Bayonetta, or the original, at least. Interesting. Because this is not how the game starts off on Xbox. Huh. Interesting. Alright, I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot more now. And she has basically a purple gun. So that costume changes to choose Bayonetta's current costume. I'm stupid. Um, so we're going straight to the costume change because on the Wii U version, oh, that's cool. There, we get this. So we automatically have, oh. I didn't know that was a thing. So we have four costumes right here, as you can see. Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, I didn't know that was the name of her area, I guess. Saras Land. Hmm. Of course, Hero of Hyrule, Galactic Bounty Hunter, and let's see. The power suit of the famed Galactic Bounty Hunter with oops, sorry. With its beam firing arm cannon, this suit is everything a girl needs to overcome in hospitable alien terrain. Press Y to fire the arm on it, beam cannon. Hmm. It is very weird that that keeps happening. You can also hold down on the D-pad to lower or raise the suit's visor. The wardrobe of the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom with a few slight alterations. Grants the user the ability to summon a certain spiky shell king through, through Wicked Weave. And the wardrobe of the princess of Sarasaland, which makes me think of Sriracha. The fuse like alteration grants the user the ability to summon. Okay, so Princess Peach and Princess Daisy is just different colors basically, but um, kind of like the moves I was just doing with the giant arms and legs, they'll all be Bowser instead. Courage, power, and wisdom abound in this new take on the legendary hero, hero's tunic. Enjoy a new kind of gameplay with the included Master Sword ooh, and Hidden Shield. I didn't know the shield was in here. Press L in the direction of enemies' attack to block with perfect timing. Uh, I don't know why I keep losing connection with her. That's weird. I feel I gotta go, Samus. Whoops, I hit B. See, I'm not used to that. Yes, please. And um, something I noticed uh, when I was first playing the game, or not playing it, when the game was like 
premiered, basically, they had it in the trailer where she was wearing uh, Samus' suit. And I didn't know it was a full suit because they only showed her face and I didn't look at anything. Um, and I, di I didn't know it was the full suit until I actually got the game and looked at the back of the case, which I actually have right here. Um, and it shows the full suit. And I was like, oh, I didn't know it was the full thing. So that's kind of awesome. Because I thought it was just the mask, but the mask actually does come up and down, even during cutscenes like this. Um, which is one of the things I love about this game. All the weapons that you choose... I don't know why the heck that keeps happening. I think I have to move my thing up, because it's kind of pushed back a little bit. But um, all the costumes that you use show up in cutscenes, because everything is used in the in-game engine. Like, there are no... Um, like, there, there are no uh, CG pre-rendered cutscenes that are, like, using the game engine. It's all in-game, so all the videos um, have whatever costume you're using. Um, there's, like, dragon claw weapons, not to spoil stuff. It, it but looks like Humpty Dumpty's <laughs> taking his last fall. We'll see. Even Oleg Man the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know... I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. Looks really good. <laughs> People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue, or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> I've always thought he was such a silly character. Like, he's obviously over the top, and I'm almost 100% sure meant to be hungry, Joe Pesci. Done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light. I can't see a thing. Oh, but they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Okay, I'll be honest. I may have played this junk like eight times, but I have not watched the cutscenes since I beat it like the third time. Like I skip all the cutscenes now. I don't watch anything because I'm like, all right, let's let's keep this rolling. Let's fight some enemies, keep the game going. And she's gonna transform, and she's gonna be in that Samus suit, I think. I don't, cause obviously, um, it's just not her regular costume. Like with the um, like with the line he said, like oh, Ed, old old Eggman the Destroyer, because this was initially um, this was by Sega, so that reference was of course to Eggman from Sonic. I was just like, oh, I totally forgot that was a thing. What the heck? And all this stuff, like I don't remember this. 100%. It's been so long. Tired. Let me tuck you in. Like, I haven't watched it in so long. It's like, I don't remember any of this. 
So I guess I can still enjoy it. I always wanted this game to, like, I know it'll never happen. I know it's not ever going to happen, but I really wish that they would do a Devil May Cry Bayonetta crossover. Like, God, that's all it takes. That would be an amazing Next game. Next time you put your hands on me, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. If it ain't my good buddy Denzo, how about you get out of here? So over the top and silly. But fun. You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money you want. Do you naughty little angels deserve a good banking? <laughs> There's stuff like that, like, was it like an eight, eight angel suplex or something? Just silly fun stuff. And then this, just, just yep, she's in the Samus suit, that's awesome. But that would probably be um, way sexier if it was her regular costume, but for me, this is just like ten times cooler having the opening scene and it's full on Samus armor. There it is! Ah, that is so freaking cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Much sexier aesthetic <laughs> in her normal um costume. This is cheeky. Throwing me these cheap toys. Don't worry about quality. I've got quantities. I'm just gonna be switching this back and forth through like the entire game. And I'm gonna switch to the other costumes as well. But it's gonna be hard to ignore the fact that I can do this. And like it, it counts. Even when you can't see her do it. Like, it, it switches back and forth as long as I hold the button down. Like, it should be up right now. If I did it right. There it is. <laughs> I mean, I can't help that. Okay, I'm gonna move my sensor really quick. Alright, hopefully that stops all of the stupid issues with the thing not being registered. Alright, move touch the direction. Uh, touch the direction in which you want to move, touch the screen twice quickly, evade, slide in the direction you want. That's interesting. Place the image of Automatically, you will continue to attack the enemy as long as the attack timer is being displayed. Well, that's an interesting concept. I can't say that that's going to be happening too often in any way, shape, or form. Oh, man.
It's weird enough doing it with the um. Oh, you can't do that. I shouldn't be messing around with this because this, there's no way. What the heck? That's a nice little mechanic here, but I can't see myself using that like at all. Very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force used in business transaction within Inferno. Basically, buy weapons here. Whoa! That's interesting when you have It's funny to watch this happen and like none of the hands come up or anything. Like right there would be like two big fists like punching the enemy. Or or maybe one I guess. I thought I had him on that one. It's kind of cool watching it without the hands coming up. Like when I went to X, I pressed Y because I'm so used to um, playing this with the Xbox controller. It's going to really mess me up. I always like this move. There it is. <laughs> ah, I, I don't know. But I just wanted to do that. Ah, I have like I'm so used to having all the weapons and all my powers. And I'm not gonna spoil what the weapons are if you guys have not played this game, which you definitely should. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite. Like just, it's not really a hack and slash. It like has that button mashing quality of like just hit a bunch of buttons and stuff. But there are so many combos in here. So many weapons, so many just insane ways to destroy people. Like this, what I'm doing now is honestly like nothing compared to what I would be able to do. Ah. Like, I'm so used to flying through that portion, and it's like, not having any of the powers now. It makes it really weird. Also, a lot of the cutscenes are like that, just so you guys know. Um, so, you should just be ready for that. A lot of the cutscenes are actually, like, still um, movie reels, basically. Ah, I can't even do my thing. Let's 
See, at least I can still move that. So. Damn it! Who did that? I just bought the damn thing. So you can hear it even when you can't see her. You can just. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no quarter for you in this world. Oh. Timing down like this yet. Oh, cool. I don't think I ever knew that was there. I might have to go back and play this on my Xbox. Well, I don't know. I may never go back to that version again because I have this now. And I'm, I might, this might actually make me get the, um, the, uh, Pro Controller as well. Like, I never thought I would want that, but, I don't know, I'm so used to this on Xbox that I might end up actually getting that, just for this game. should be paying me for even touching these toys. You have any idea how much this is gonna cost to fix? How the fuck do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Ed and Edna. Hmm. Engine still purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Yes. Let's have a quick chat. See? This is why I told you I was going home. Uh, I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Uh, Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me uh, you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What about... Eggman. Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. I feel like a lot of this dialogue was not in the original. You heard the man. But like I said. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here! Well, like I said, I haven't watched it in so incredibly long. So, I love the sound effect too. Really cool. Alright. I am actually going to pause it here. Fortunately, you can pause cutscenes in this game, which I love. Um, I'm going to end this episode here as well, obviously. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, like I said, I'm going to kind of shoot through this. I'm going to pretty much do everything I normally did because I'm going to remember uh, where a lot of the weapons are. And, of course, I'm, I want to show off as many of the weapons as I can. So hopefully I remember where everything is and I can unlock all the weapons all at one time. If not, I might play around a little bit just to show you guys um, all the weapons. I'll like look them up online and just find them by doing the level select or whatever. But thanks for joining me. I'm going to try to shoot through this as fast as I possibly can so I can get to Bayonetta 2. But I've... You know, I didn't want to skip over this, even though a lot of people may have already played this. I still wanted to do a full Let's Play of this game before I jumped into Bayonetta 2. And like I said, for me, it is a pretty good refresher because I am i haven't watched the cutscenes in forever. But thanks for joining me in this episode. If you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. And please join me in the next part. Bye.